Hi everyone, it's Misha. So today I wanted to do full face of old products, old ones but good ones, things that I haven't used for ages. I don't know about you, but I haven't been buying new makeup. I buy something now and again, um, mainly to review it for you or show it to you, but I have so much stuff that I obviously used to like that is just sitting there. So I think I've told you in one of my vlogs that um, I've pulled out the Anastasia foundation and I forgot how much I liked it. So I had just a little bit left. I've used it up, so I bought another one because I do like this foundation. And of course, the Lila is still my holy grail, but I don't want to use it every day because it's so special. So I've been using that one. So let's start. Okay, so um, all I use on my face is the Skin Deva Vitamin C, E and Ferulic Acid Eye Cream and then I use the Rifa Light Hydration Cream. I really like it, this is my second one and I find it really good almost as a primer. I don't normally use foundation primers, this works really well. Okay, my foundation is in 315N, 315 Neutral, and I'm going to use the BK Beauty Foundation Brush 101. I really like this brush. So I use probably two pumps of it. The color is just perfect. So this foundation has really, really good coverage. I would say it has quite natural finish. And this color is just so good. That's one thing, you know, sometimes you might get a good foundation, but if you get the color wrong, it will just look horrible. Doesn't matter how good the foundation is. Matching the color is really good. I am quite experienced now with buying from the internet without trying the colors. I sort of go by the, the description. Uh, sometimes they have, you know, photos of the models um, on the internet and I sort of guess it that way. Um, it doesn't always work out. Usually I get it far too light. Um, and also because, you know, I um, lightly fake tan even in the winter. So I still need a bit darker foundation. Now I always go over it with a damp sponge just to work it in and also if you've put somewhere too much that will absorb it a bit. Concealer. So I usually use this one. This is like my favorite for ages, the Rimmel the Multitasker Concealer. But Milani Conceal and Perfect used to be my favorite. So I'm going to use that and this one is in 130 light beige. Such a lovely concealer and they come in so many colors. So I usually pat it in with my finger first to warm it up and then I will use sponge to work it in. Do you know, also I feel when I do this, when you have like swollen eyes or eye bags, I feel doing this patting motion sort of drains, <laughs> drains your under eye area and maybe helps it that way. And then I will Work it in with the sponge. I always put a bit on the bridge of my nose because 
my nose sometimes repels foundation so yeah it's a really really lovely concealer I don't know if they still even sell it because obviously I have a couple of these in my um, drawer so I don't know if they still sell them for setting under my eyes, I'm going to use the Delilah Pure Touch Micro Fine Loose Powder and mine is in translucent. So you know I've been using the Morphe one, the pink one for ages, but I seem to remember that when I got this one, I really liked it because it's so, so fine. That's the color of it. So it's not a white color. Usually translucent powders look white. This one is sort of very, very light beige. Uh, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush and I remember that this powder because it's so fine it looked really good under the eyes. Yeah. Now for setting my face you know I always use mineral loose powder foundation and I use the Lily Lolo cookie. So my favorite, very old one, used to be the Laura Mercier mineral foundation, and I still have some, um, and I do use it, but um, it's no point because this is never gonna come back, so, which is a shame. So I'm still going to use the cookie from Lily Lolo. And I use the BK Beauty 103 brush for this. I put some in the lid and then I take the excess off, pat it and very lightly buff it in like in circular motions. I don't use too much of it because then it will give you more coverage because this is obviously powder foundation so I use it more as a setting powder so I use very tiny amount. Look what I've pulled out for my bronzer. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronze. Mine is in two. That's the medium isn't it? medium. I remember loving this bronzer but I've been using the Sigma one for such a long time but this is a lovely bronzer again very smooth and I like the color. I'm going to use the Rifa 05 again it's one of those that is not too orange not too red Very good color. And you know the good things thing with these powders is that you just buy refills so you don't have to buy the whole thing, you just buy the refill. There is a hole here at the back where you can pop it up, pop it out. Yeah, I still like it. You know sometimes you buy something new and you like it and you just get stuck in using that one thing. Blush. Do you remember the Hourglass Ambient Blushes? So I have the Mood Exposure and this was always my favorite because it's like a mauve one. It's got all these veins through it. This one looks almost like a highlighter because remember all the veins you would get more or less depends which one you got but this looks so light but the color still comes out so I've got here a little one they obviously got free with something can you see how many more veins there is uh, but I'm going to use the big one and we will see because when you look at it you think well this is like just white pink nothing will show up so let's see I used to love this blush yeah you definitely get the color I don't know how this works because in a compact it looks 
white. Right, this is Sigma, this is Sigma F53 Air, which is a contour slash blush brush. Um, I have quite a few of those, I like them for blush. Yeah, this is lovely blush because it has a bit of that ambient light in it, so it gives you a bit of glow as well. Yeah, I still like it. Okay, so that's the face makeup done. I'm going to go off and do my eyebrows. With my eyebrows, I still use the same things. You know, I've started using that um, marker pen, but in the end, I even did a video. And I still like it, but I find it much quicker if I just use a pencil and then I use obviously this always. So this is the L'Oreal Skinny Definer Brow Artist and I use it in brunette. I don't know if they are still available because I think they don't sell them in our drugstores. I got it on Amazon because first years ago I got it in New York and I bought quite a few because I really like them. And then obviously the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, I've tried to find something that is as good and I can't find anything. So I still use these two. And sometimes I will use the marker pen. Okay, brows are done. Look what I've got. So I know this palette is no longer available. I think they have the smaller version of this palette and this is the Tarte Juicy palette. Such a beautiful palette. I haven't used it for so long, but I have been using it lately and I am enjoying it so much. So I think Sephora might be still sell selling this. I see if I can find it, but it's slightly smaller. I think um, this one has two, four, five. This one has 20 eyeshadows and I think the other one might have 16. So here it is. It's such a pretty palette. It's so delicate so and romantic. I think this would be amazing for brides. So let's use this one. Of course, I don't have the names. On the, oh yeah, there are names. Um, I will just read out the names and maybe put them at the bottom of the screen. You know how I usually put the palette up, but I don't know if I will be able to find picture of that palette still so I will just tell you the names of the eyeshadows that I'm using and I put the name down the bottom of the screen so I think I will use this row I mean if it's that way is the second one but I don't want to blind you with the mirror this row and I might use something from this row as well so I'm taking Rifa 01 and I'm going into Petal and put that in a crease. It's pink but it's a nice pink. Now with the same brush I am going to go into Charmed, which is in a row below, and just deepen the outer bit of my crease with it a bit. Now I'm going to take Refat 32, this funny wedgy one, and I'm going to go with it into lashes and stamp my seven just in the outer corner with it this brush is great Got a bit of fallout. I didn't tap off the brush. That's my fault. Always a blend in between with a clean Rifa 15. 
such a great quality. I always liked Tarte Amazonian clay eyeshadows. They don't seem to be coming out with so many new palettes. Rifa 02 and I'm going to go into Wildflower and apply it sort of in the middle, not right into the corner. Actually, I will go right into the corner. Beautiful. This, this eyeshadow says wedding to me. Now I'm going to wet another Rifa O2 and I'm going to go into Orchid. It's this one. So nice this eyeshadow. So go into Orchid and I'm going to put it sort of between this dark one and the Wildflower. It's gorgeous. It's sort of pink, but you know, I don't feel like it's one of those pinks that make you look like you've been crying. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, I've been wearing this look quite a lot lately. Now I'm taking Hulu P66 and I'm going to go to the darkest one, Euphoric, that one here, and I'm just going to work it in on the very outer corner. Obviously you don't have to, you don't have to make it that dark, but you know me. Blend with 15, Rifa 15. Murphy M321 is a pencil brush. I am going to go into Lashes, which is that brown in a second row. Then a Sonia G Pencil Pro and I'm going to go into Petal, that very first pink one and I'm just going to buff that brown out with it. Rifa 03 and I am going to go into, right do I want this one or this one, into Water Lily which is this one so I am not using really just the second row I'm just going to put it in a corner and that's it isn't it a pretty look I like it so much but now what I'm going to do I've got the Shallow Tilbury, this double-ended uh, pencil and what are the colours on this one? Mesmerising Maroon and... Well, they, it's Mesmerising Maroon but I'm going to use this purpley one and just do a bit of a line sort of halfway and I'm going to put it in my waterline I think that colour makes your blue eyes pop And now mascara. Now for mascara, I don't have really any 
old ones that I don't use anymore. I keep using, as you know, the Catrice Glam and Doll Sculpt and Volume Mascara. And I usually top it off with Anastasia Lash Brag. But today I'm going to top it off with the Max Stack. Um, it is not that old, but I bought it and I'm not using it that much. But it's a really good mascara. You know, I always use two mascaras. For my lips, I am going to use the NYX Los Angeles. This is very difficult, impossible to get in the UK now. Sometimes you might find it on eBay or Amazon. I love this. I have a couple of backups, so I don't use it that often. It's a cool dark brown and it's really nice for nude lipsticks to make the lipstick a bit darker. I just love it. Then I am going to use Delilah lipstick in Whisper. This is, I always use this lipstick when I um, have sort of pinkish, mauve color eyes because it's like a cool nude. And then look what I found, I love this. This is the Chanel, Rouge Coco Chanel Gloss in 119. I can't read at all the name of it but it's 119 um it's beautiful gloss it looks quite dark but it doesn't really look that dark on your lips but it gives you the most juicy beautiful shine So I now colour my lips in a bit here with it. Mm, I love that. That combo is so nice. And let me put that gloss on now. Look how juicy and wet they look. It's gorgeous. And that's the finished look. Ignore the hair. The hair hasn't been styled, but this is all about makeup. So I really love the look. I still enjoy all these products that I've used like I did before when I first got them. So I think if you have a full vanity of makeup, start pulling out some of your old ones, you might be surprised. And it feels like you're using something new again. This palette, I haven't used it for very, very long time. And when I started using it again, I liked it so much. I've been using it for like the last week, every day. So let me know if you enjoyed this type of videos, like shopping my stash, I gladly do some more. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.